is the spring day in Halstead, an attractive historic market town in North Essex, set in the Combe Valley and home to over a thousand people. This is Townsford Mill, one of the most photographed buildings. It's a fine view and one that's changed very little since the Victorian era. Beside the River Cone is the Causeway, a terrace of 19th century housing built by and for Courtauld and Company, once the town's biggest employer. Halstead has a very visible industrial heritage and the Courtaulds were a local family. With a reputation for philanthropy and a love of architecture, they did much to shape our townscape in the 19th and 20th centuries. The demand for changes to our environments has increased though, and for a good half century, local communities have often felt defenceless against developers and planning departments, while our towns, villages and open spaces are changed forever. Halstead in Essex is no exception, and we only have to take a few steps to see the impact development had on our town in the middle of the 20th century. After the loss of the railway and the level crossing in the 1960s, it could be said that Bridge Street became the gateway to the town. It used to be full of old retail and industrial buildings with London House, a very fine Italianate property, just by the bridge itself on the bottom of the high street. All were demolished to make way for a short lived supermarket. The results speak for themselves. Some distance north up the hilly high street are more memorable buildings and clearer signs of Halstead's architectural past. And at the top of the hill is the Jubilee Fountain, gifted to the town by Courtauld & Co in 1897. Yet on the other side of the street, we reach the site of another irrevocable planning decision called the Centre, which 40 years on still mars the lovely face of our high street. In the 1960s, Pudney and Pearson's courtyard was bulldozed and replaced with, yes, another supermarket, also short-lived. Many locals think this is the ugliest building in Halstead. Decades have passed and we think we're wiser and have more respect for our local heritage, yet the push for housing and development in general is putting our historic buildings and our open spaces at risk. Beside the centre, in the very heart of the town, on a piece of land a few metres east of the high street, are four acres of green space. Most shoppers are unaware of this woodland, with its 19 protected trees and the remains of a landscaped Victorian garden. There are believed to be seven springs affecting the site, creating a large wetland area. The biodiversity of these environments has yet to be fully assessed, although we know they provide a habitat for bats and muntjac deer. And last but not least, to the south of the sloping site is a rare group of 16 historic air raid shelters, built by courtholds for workers at their local mill before World War II broke out. For decades after the end of World War II, in an informal agreement with Courtauld's management, this land was tended by residents of Grade 2 Factory Terrace and Vicarage Meadow. They mowed the grass, trimmed shrubs, grew vegetables and planted fruit trees, and the air raid shelters they'd been allocated as householders were used as storage for their tools. After the closure of Courtauld's factory in the 1980s, the site was sold and this plot was too. Now it's still hidden from view for most of the townsfolk, but the new owners have put up fences to keep everyone out and make no effort to maintain the land, although contractors with bulldozers and chainsaws appear when efforts to sell the land are renewed. The neighbours, who had looked after the land so well, are now despondent residents who witness vandalism, arson and fly-tipping just behind their houses. Despite repeated efforts by planners to build on this land for the last 50 years, nothing has happened and these air raid shelters have survived while thousands of others have been destroyed throughout England, but nature has taken its toll on the structure of the shelters. While they are not beyond repair, leaving them alone is no longer an option. 
Without intervention, the 15 underground shelters will collapse. And the old above ground shelter, once used as a communications room and first aid post, will crumble. One of the last remaining groups of industrial air raid shelters of this size, and right in the middle of our town. All of these attributes on this piece of land could be brought together to form a green lung, just a hop, skip and jump away from the town centre. A place of contemplation with views over the valley, woodland and wetland walks, and the green mound of the air raid shelters, valued as historic assets and working for new purposes. We all believe that in 2016, we must have a more balanced and insightful attitude to our environment. We recognise the value of what's around us, our green spaces, our wildlife and our built heritage. So let's not destroy them. Let's celebrate what helps make this town unique. Let it be a part of our future. If you live in or near Halstead and care deeply about preserving our heritage for future generations, then why not join us at Halstead 21st Century Group?